Trouble keeps her, you know, keeps them highs. If you leave this... Trouble keeps her. Yeah. <clears throat> it's got a little thing in there that lets you keep your highs as you come down. You still keep some of the high end. I've got the highs and the amp off now. Mm -hmm. But if they were on, you'd see you still have sparkle as you turn it down. But you usually lose bass. Now, he designed it to lose mid-range, which is really good. Really, really good. Because what you can do is, if you put, say... sits here because I can teach with it and if I was hoping I wouldn't love it then I would just like it. Well that's not a fair statement. I was hoping that I wouldn't get attached to it. Now I'm attached to it too. So I thought well I'll use up the amps I don't like as much because amps wear out too. Yeah, right. So here's a jazz sound. With a little thicker string it'll really cut the mustard. Funds are probably strapped the these days, right? So I'm going to give you a set of strings. Oh, man. I had a little extra money and I bought a lot of set of strings. I won't miss one. Take, try this, this set on. It's a set of 11s, and I think you'll this, like is this is what you this usually. This is what you. This is what I string. I string a lot of yeah, or power slinkies. I like the Ernie really, Ball. Really, you like 11. those, huh? Well, I've been going lighter to 11s on some I like the Adarios. I, I think they're pretty consistent, but I, I have I haven't even seen slinkies around for a long time. Well, I don't care which brand. I just wanted a set of 11s for my tellies because my hands. As I get older, so they hurt sometimes. The, I don't want to hurt. the base end of it is uh, pretty much the same. It's just the top end thicker, right? You mean between Ernie and this? Or what, you mean what's, between what's the, the, what's the bases on, on the Ernie's? Okay, well, um, to answer your question accurately, just to remind you, if you, in your heyday of playing, say, nines, did you ever play nines? I mean, surf guitar stuff, right? Did you ever do it? Yeah, I played I, nines like once in my life. I didn't like it too much. Okay. Did you ever play tens? Tens are normal, yeah. And you could tell the difference. Yeah. Oh, yes, one, like rubber bands on that. One thousandth of an inch, you could tell the difference. Oh, so we're talking so the difference. So when they too. change to a, from, say, 9 to 11, you think, well, it's two thousandths of an inch. What's everybody talking about? Right. But somehow we can tell the difference a lot. Every yeah. thousandth count. Wow. We're talking about the first string. Some of the others are changing. Three yeah, I'm just wondering what it four. is on the bass. Are we talking thicker in the bass, too, or just. Three thousandths of an inch on some from a, the ten set has a this forty six. Would like be a forty three normally or forty six. Forty six. Not a ten set. Unless you used Fender. Some Fender. Well, I just set. put some Fenders on a on a guy's PV guitar. I think there are forty threes in the bass. Most of the, the standard set out there for tens is, is as follows: 10, 13, 17, 26, 36, 46. That's for tens. So you'll hear a lot more oomph on this bass string. This is this looks this is good. I'm going to put these on before I play next time. This, this guitar is really going to sound great. Yeah, I'm excited. It's going to do it. Be like. And if it still it's doesn't do what you want, I can that wire that a special circuit. I was just going, you know, it's, it's, it's not Ed Bickard, but it sounds okay. You know, it's it, it's, it's something. getting there, man. And I was just going, maybe it's just because the pickups are different, you know. Maybe I need to, to put a big humbucker in there on the bridge, on, on the uh, neck. But I think the neck goes in further too, right? On these G and L's than they do on the tellies. One fret more. But the scale length is the same. It's long scale. That's long scale. I'm working man. Mm. Medium scale, like 335, I don't have to stretch that far. Mm. You can see, you know when you're up here on a Gibson scale, you play it for a day and then you pick up a fender, it looks wider apart. <laughs> or vice versa. 
I don't have a lot of experience with Fender, so I can't say for sure. But uh, where do you go back to your Gibson up here? You're gonna go. Yeah. God, the friends are closer together. Now, if you picked up the Paul Desmond album and he went. His sound is all ruined now. It's so bright. Later you'd say, gee, it's a little thinner than he used to use, but I kind of like it. It's clear. You can hear all the voices. It's still warm. That's what these little strings. Wait till you put your little strings. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited Hope Springs about Eternal. This. Good. Okay. Great. Lesson note. <laughs> 